Hi, this is Dr. Habib. Today, I want to talk about two ways to combat COVID. The first one is simple, masks. The second one is how to produce nitric oxide. So with masks, very simple. If you even have a flimsy single layer, you can drop the aerosol from going out as little as four feet. However, if you put two layers on, like a normal homemade mask, you can bring down the air droplets from going out only by a few inches. Now, if you have a surgical mask uh, or an N95, now you really get much better efficacy. Because what you want to do is minimize the, the forward propulsion of the aerosol. Of course, there's going to be some leakage in the, in the nasal bridge, so try to get a good fit around that. If you're wearing glasses, you'll know if you get steamed up, you've got air leakage. But it's more important to stop the uh, aerosol from going out, uh, and that's the, one of the most important things. The second one is nitric oxide. Your body has the ability to produce nitric oxide because there's an enzyme that lives in all the blood vessels around the body. It's called ENOS. E stands for endothelial, NOS stands for nitric oxide synthase. Your body will produce it if there's infection. Your body will produce it if there's acidosis. Any kind of insult, then your body is designed to make it. However, you can help produce it by exercising. You liberate nitric oxide from the blood vessels. Now, if you have a diet rich in greens with nitrates, that's another way for your body to convert that to nitrite from the bacteria in your gut. And from there, your body can release nitric oxide. So the beauty of the nitric oxide is that it opens the arteries, increases blood flow. And it's the blood vessels that's the ultimate in the COVID pathology because the complications are blood vessel related from endothelial problems like raised blood pressure to thrombotic where blood clots up. And the problem is that when it comes to the lungs, you have blood vessels around the air sacs. And it's the leaking of the fluid from the blood vessels into the air that gives the respiratory distress. So if you can produce your own nitric oxide, you will be better able to boost the immune system, fight COVID virus, protect the blood vessels. In fact, protecting the blood vessels is far more valuable than the risk factors from diabetes, heart disease, even asthma or lung disease. In one study where they had COPD patients, that's chronic obstructive pulmonary disease patients, they fed them nitrates for eight days and the nitric oxide level increased by 200%. By eating your greens, exercising, you produce nitric oxide, protects the blood vessels, protects the airways, protects your immune system. If you'd like to learn more, then contact us at nexthealthmed.com or call us at 703-724-4000.